Hi. So I was trying to do a live stream. It's not working. So here we go. You can just have to comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an I Ching. Because I realized that this whole time that I've been thinking about enjoying these kind of Tartarian videos, I swear, I didn't see the big picture. I have been ferociously and feverishly beavering after so many cool streams of research, writing music, creativity, um, artistry, exploring earthworks since I was a toddler. I picked up the I Ching in 1998 and I have been devoted to its study ever since. But I have only scratched the surface. In it, the descriptions of life, of life are there. How to live in this superior society. It's much greater than anything we have right now. We want this so much, we can taste it. But how do we conduct ourselves? How do we gracefully traverse the changes from this broken world to that beautiful Tartarian world that we see? Well, the DNA is 64 pairs. Binary code is 64 pairs. The I Ching is 64 pairs. Do you understand? It's a matrix hacker, guys. It's the moral code. And it's a very big book. The I Ching has been telling me how for 24 years. It's not a long time. But it is the moral code, and it, I believe it was written by the Tartarians. I think it's written in our DNA, too, because I've never had any problem with any of it. It makes sense. Um, I believe this is the code to the Matrix, and I believe it was written by them. It's very high in its culture. So I wanted to talk about my life among the white elephants, when I was growing up, that's what we called um, the big old houses that people lived in or inherited. You know, just these big white Tartarian houses. I didn't know that these old buildings for giants didn't exist. They've always been a part of my, my life. I performed recitals. We've lived in them. I sang choruses and solos at Symphony Hall with the blue velvet drapes towering over my head. Now I realize this was the world I was raised in and somehow, somewhere it got lost. But I thank you all for bringing it back to my attention and for finding it for me. And so apparently I believe we are headed back there, uh, but we don't know how to act. Well, in hindsight, I believe this is a book that was written by them, these magnificent, very tall people. And I am prepared now to read this book to you and tell you what it says about our time now and where we are going. This is how we live, the I Ching tells us. All you have to do is ask a question, a question, and you will be astounded by the accuracy of the answer follow earnestness, the willingness to be sincere and sincerely honest. So here are my hashtags, mud fossils, mud floods, Tartarians, ancient architecture, Carl Jung, the I Ching, Yi Jing, celestial metaphor, the gear of the tiger, biblical knowledge, Phoenician, astrology, Greek mythology, the voices of Jupiter, divination, pseudo-Egyptian tarot, the Zen tarot, Manly Palmer Hall, the Golden Mean, Rudolf Steiner, Waldorf School, Old England, Lost Tribes of Israel, 
old German heritage and know thyself. Okay, so here's some coffee. You recognize that? I'm not advertising, but I am gonna do my version of the I Ching. So I'm gonna ask the question. So I have these little marbles in a jar. Some people use quarters or sticks. I've come up with this lovely marbles kind of method. Very good odds. Very close to the, um, like the yarrow stalks. So my question is, is this true? Is this where we're going? We're going back to Tartaria in some way. Or we're all gonna meet because apparently this tribe of people, we're all one family. I guess somebody said we came in a pod. I don't know, but I know we've been around for thousands of years. Let me find a book. Cute. Okay. So this is what my book looks like okay and inside and you know it's written it's uh, published by Bollinger series and they're also the ones that did that Joseph Campbell book on um, Mag Imagica I just got that I'm gonna start reading it so maybe Joseph Campbell was one of us here's the hexagrams the book of changes so I'm going to pull the marbles and I'm going to get six different lines and I just ask the question where are we going okay so the first one is a black marble and a black marble is a stable yin which is the number eight which we would call a broken line and I can't tell you why I know that but I will. Okay, so the next one. Green. Green is a stable yang, which is a solid line. It's a number seven. I just get one on my finger. Ooh, black again. So we have a stable yin. So far, no transforming lines. Another stable yang. The guys are showing up. Ooh, red. There's only three red. That is a transforming yang, which means it is a solid line. But it is transforming. It's a yang, transforming yang. Get another one. All right, so I pulled six times, six marbles. And I'll show you what I got. That's it. And that's enough to tell me what it is. Believe it or not, I just hacked the matrix. It's that easy. All right. Here's my chart. Yeah, it's falling apart. So what I have is gorge and force. So I have a number six. And then it's going to transform to gorge and shake, which is a number 40. 
Okay, so I have a number six, and I'm going to read it to you. This is Equal te Temperament Black. All right, arguing. Number six, otherwise known as Sung. Argue your position, but don't act on it. Okay. Arguing describes your situation in terms of a dispute. The way to deal with it is to clarify and actively express your viewpoint without trying to escalate the conflict. Act this way with confidence. You are linked to the spirits and they will carry you through. Dispute things, present your case. Plead in court, demand justice. Don't be afraid or intimidated. Restrain your respect and your fear of authority. Don't give in, but don't exaggerate or get invol involved in petty wrangles. Staying in the center will generate meaning and good fortune by releasing transformative energy. It is advantageous to see great people. Visit those who are important and can give you advice. Try to become aware of the real purpose behind your desire. This will bring profit and insight. Don't try to bring your plans to completion. That would be cutting you off from the spirits and left you open to danger. It is not the right time to embark on a significant enterprise or enter the stream of life with a purpose. Argue, sung, dispute, plead your case, demand justice. Contend in front of a ruler or a judge. Lodge a complaint. Begin litigation. Quarrels, wrangles, controversy. Correct, reprimand. Arrive at a judgment. Resolve a conflict. The ideogram portrays words and the sign for an official. It suggests pleading in front of authority. The hexagram figure shows a struggle that lacks a solid base for action. Heaven combined with stream contradicts movement. Something new is being prepared. Stay inside your group. When many people eat and drink together, arguing will break out. This is not a harmonious time. It is full of people and ideas contradicting each other. Don't try to be helpful and connect all these things. Use the contradictions to stimulate and stir things up in order to be plan the beginning of a new activity. Go on arguing and see what it reveals. You are connected to the spirits and they will carry you through. Don't be afraid. By staying in the center, you will encounter what is strong and solid. Don't try to bring your ideas to completion. The time is against it. Seeing great people brings profit and insight. It will help you clarify your own ideas. <clears throat> Don't try to accomplish anything <clears throat> concrete. Embarking on a significant enterprise now would be like jumping into the abyss. The great stream of life would become a whirlpool that drowns you. So the transforming lines, we have two of them. We have two nines at the top. So we'll read the two nines at the top. So the nine at the fifth. Present yourself and your case with confidence and expect positive results. This is the source of great good fortune and meaningful events. Make correcting the situation your central concern. Direction, gather your energy for a decisive new move and the nine at the top. Perhaps you think money and position will be bestowed upon you through arguing. Think again. By the end of the morning, you will be deprived of it three times over. You think you can profitably use your arguments to make people submit to you. Think again. This isn't worthy of you. It brings you no respect at all. Direction, break out of isolation. Find a supportive group. Stay inside it. Gather energy for a decisive new move. 
So that's the kind of advice that the Tartarians gave each other. That's the kind of information they would get in these books. And I believe it is how they spoke. It is how they were able to build and live in that prosperous, very highly advanced mentality and way of conduct, society. It wasn't a civilization. I've heard several of the mystics really balk at that word. Like, that's not the word. That is not a good word. It actually means like dividing up people and cutting them in little pieces and making little piles here and piles there, you know? So I, I don't think that's a good word to use, but I think society is. So um, so it would be um, number six. And uh, we did have a transforming line. So that means we read the front section, or at least the description, of the hexagram. Okay. And it came to number 40, deliverance. Hessier. Loosening. Keywords, solve problems, unite, untie knots, release blocked energy. Loosening, deliverance, describes your situation in terms of re release from tension and the new energy that it makes available. The way to deal with it is to untie knots, dispel sorrows, solve problems, and understand motivations. Forgive and forget, wipe the slate clean, Join with others to realize plans for future gain. That brings profit and insight. If you have no unfinished business to attend to, simply wait for the energy to return. It will generate meaning and good fortune. If you do have directions to impose or places to go, the first light of dawn generates meaning and good fortune by releasing transformative energy. Be up and doing and greet the new day. Loosening, deliverance, divide, detach, untie, scatter, sever, dissolve, dispel, analyze, explain, understand, free from constraint, dispel sorrow, eliminate effects, solve problems, discharge, get rid of, take care of needs. The ideogram portrays a sharp instru instrument made of horn used to loosen knots. The hexagram figure shows the fertile shock of a stirring new time, thunder and rain arousing. The situation is already changing. The time can't always be heavy and arduous. Deliverance implies relaxing and letting things go. Forgive excesses, pardon violations and faults. Act to stir things up. Loosening means arousing things and avoiding danger. Join with others to realize plans for future gain. That brings profit and insight. By going on, you will acquire the crowds. The returning energy that is coming towards you will generate meaning and good fortune. Use it to stay in the center. If you have places to go or directions to impose, the first light of dawn generates meaning and good fortune by releasing transformative energy. Proceeding in this way brings achievement. Heaven and earth loosen and free things through the arousing power of thunder and rain. Thunder and rain arouse the seeds of all fruits, grasses and trees to burst forth. The time of loosening and deliverance is a great time indeed. So that's it. That is an example. So let's go with this, okay? There'll be more. <laughs>